<laughs> so this is Oreo. This is Oreo. Yes. This is Oreo. First of all, he's adorable and the epitome of terrier. Okay. I'm gonna take team dog and Ooh. we're gonna go take Oreo on a walk. I need more information to get a complete picture of his personality and the way that Team Dog interacts with him. Let's go. Have fun with that. You have fun with your ninja cat. You know, we'll see about that. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Wow. I'm watching Marcy get Oreo extremely amped before going on a walk. Dogs don't need any help getting excited to do things that they love. Adding to that excitement produces anxiety. So already I don't like what I'm seeing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. He doesn't have a leash on. No. Oreo. Oreo is out onto the sidewalk and I'm freaking out. Why am I the only one? I see no panic in the family. Oreo. Oreo. Hi. Hi. Uh-oh. Go ahead and grab Oreo and just hang on to him until we get a leash on him. We let Oreo off the leash when we go outside because he's a perfect dog. We know he'll come right back to us. A cat will not do that. Let's take him on a walk and just see how he is on this new fangled leash. Come on, yeah. You want to walk? Come on, yeah. OK. See, he's like running. Look. Yeah, and he likes to lead the pack a little bit uh, here. He does. Look at him. Right now, this dog is choosing what direction and where and when to go on walks all by himself around the neighborhood. That's sending a message that you want your dog to make the decisions not only on this walk, but everywhere. Psst, psst. Papa. He like what? He smells it. He smells it. What is that? Come to me, Papa. Oh my God, he's so cute. And he's very social. How could you not love this cat? Papa's great, man. I mean, he's a very confident, chill cat. Is he as bad as your mom is saying? No. no. My mom, she's very, very dramatic. Yeah. She's being dramatic. Yes. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> OK. And he's so little. What is he? He is 10 months. Oh, wait, 10 months? Yeah. yeah. No wonder he looks so little. He's still a teenage boy. And that means that when he's sleeping, he's very cute. But when he's awake, he can be a holy terror. Where's the litter box in the house? We had it for a couple months. But then she started complaining. She didn't want the smell. She didn't want to clean up all the way out every day. Wow. It really concerns me. I know that a cat's life outside is markedly shorter than an indoor cat's life. Does he have sit down? Oh, Does yeah. he have any other yeah. Yeah. Can you show me? Sit. Give me a paw. Good boy. Lay down. <laughs> oh, we need a treat. That's okay. Treat. We need a treat. No problem. We can use Just one. all over again, son. Good. Good. Give me a paw. Good boy, lay down. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, all the way wow, over. Look at that dog. Perfect. Yeah. Good. A cat job. cannot do that. You know, I I'll leave that to Jackson. It's hard for me to believe that Marcy's gonna make that big of a flip. So I just gonna do everything that I can to help Jackson out. I don't want to see Cheyenne and Chook lose their cat. I don't want your cat to not be here. He's a cool guy, and I know it would upset you a lot. We're here working with Pop the Cat and Oreo the Dog, trying to restore a little bit of peace to this family and trying to get some cat haters on Team Cat. I, I get that, that you know, Oreo's your baby, and, and you, you want him safe. But just give me a chance on this one. Jackson and I have a plan for this family. We need to do it in a way they don't even see coming. There's still some more stuff going on with Oreo that we need to take a look at. He's perfect. <laughs> Oreo's perfect. There's a lot to be done there. Some experts are wrong. Some experts, that doesn't mean they're wrong. I'm not going to discredit her, but Oreo's perfect. OK. You have all this obedience, which is fabulous. But I think we can tighten that obedience up and I think we can add to it. Okay. So let's get to work. Let's go. All right. All right. Sounds let's good. Go. Marcy and Eddie have said multiple times now that they wish Papa was more like a dog. So I'm gonna try to make Papa more like a dog and then get them to start loving Papa for who he actually is, a cat. That is good, well put, I like that. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to teach him a new trick called touch. Here, come here little man. 
My agenda is to help the family get really good at marker training with Oreo, have a really good time with it, and then swap animals. First thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my hand out and I'm gonna say touch. When he reaches out to sniff it, the second his nose touches my hand, I'm gonna mark it with the word good. Then we're gonna follow it up with food. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna say touch, good. Let's have you guys try this. I already saw how difficult it was to get Oreo back when he was off leash. The touch command can be used as a recall. I want there to be a bulletproof command they can use to recall Oreo in case he ever gets out again. Touch. Right in front, closer, right there. Touch. Good. Good. Yes, very good. One more time. Touch. Perfect. Good. Good, now you did such a good job with Oreo. I'd like to swap that around and have us now teach Papa how to touch. <laughs> I'll take go. that for you. I'm actually gonna take the lead on a cat training exercise here. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> touch. <Good>. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing the trick, getting the food. Doing the trick, getting the food. It's all moving right along. Freeze it there, there, good until we get to Marcy. My next victim. Come on. You can do this. Okay. You can do this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I need to put my hand that close, right? Yes, You're you gonna can. have to get that hand touched by his nose. By his, by his, by his little nose. kisser. <laughs> if you get any closer to me, I'm gonna have to leave. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Cats are prey animals, so if you come at them with fear, they're going to return that fear to you. And there's no way that Papa's gonna do a little nose touch if he's afraid. See, we're not bonding like that yet. No, no, that's okay. It feels like he's like waiting for affection now at this point with those eyes, but I, I honestly know nothing about cats, so. What he's doing is completely ignoring. Yeah, so, okay, uh, switch? Yes. Oh, God, yes. Oh, okay. I'll no, not me. you, <laughs> us. Yeah, it's time for Cat Guy to come in. You love it. I do love it, actually. Yeah, you do love it. <laughs> so it's like your finger is the nose of another cat, right? Okay. So the idea is this, right? He sleep. I don't want him to think I'm attacking him. No, 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 he it's sleep. not going to happen. Give the food a sniff. Give the food a sniff. Now bring it Ooh. back. Now go for the okay. finger. Time. Oh, good. Yay! Marcy's demonstrating that she can overcome her fear, and there is also this beautiful moment where Papa touches her finger, and you can see that little breakthrough in Marcy's energy. It's a really nice little moment.